I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play If You Could Read My Mind by Gordon Lightfoot. But just before we get into it, please be sure to give this video a quick thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and press the notification bell if you're new here, and also leave me a comment telling me what you think of the lesson. I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. For this one, we're in standard tuning, and we have the capo placed on the second fret. And the intro goes like this. Okay, and then you're into the verse. So that's over a G, okay, and then a G at nine. So to begin with, all you need is the third fret on the sixth string held down. And then it's all up to your picking hand. So hold that down, and then you want to pick the strings six, three, two, okay, and then four, three, two, so so far that's six, three, two, four, three, two, and then you're going to play the fourth string again, okay, so all together, and then what we do is we make it a G add nine, so what you want to do is add the second fret on the third string into the chord. It's a beautiful chord, one of my favorite chord types. It sounds like that. Okay, so second fret on the third string. Hold that down, and then you're going to play that. So you play that third string second fret, so. Like that. And then keep your hand held down like that and play strings six, two, three, four and then two, three, four, again. So we've just played. Okay, and if we go right the way back to the beginning. And then from there, lift off that second fret on the third string, play that open, just back to a regular G. And now what we do is we do exactly the same that we did on the previous, uh, for the previous bar. So strings six, two, three, four, two, three, four. And then we make it that add nine again. So we put that back on, play that, and then it's the same in the picking hand. Six, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then lastly, open third string. And then that leads in, as I say, into the verse. So, if I play that really slowly, you get this from the beginning. And then it's the same in the picking hand from there. to speed. Okay, so bars two, three, and four, exactly the same in the picking hand, and we're just alternating between the G and the G add nine. So I hope that will make sense. Let's move on. So the first two bars of the verse are the same as the last few bars of the intro. So it's the G to the G add nine. In exactly the same picking pattern, which was six, two, three, four, sorry, six, two, three, four, two, three, four, and then the G add nine, so we play the first string, second fret, and then it's hold that chord down and the same thing. Okay, so. Okay, so hopefully you're alright with that. Then it goes. So this chord, it can have a few names really, but I'm calling it like a D minor six with an F in the bass. But you could think of it as just this G add nine with the F in the bass, giving that kind of mixolydian sound. So anyway, all I'm doing, we've still got that second fret held down on the third string, and then you can use your first finger or your thumb around the back, whichever way you prefer. 
play the first fret in the bottom string. But it's the same in the picking hand. So six, two, three, four, two, three, four, three. So. Okay, for that bar, and then the next bar, still hold this down, but we're gonna play six, two, sorry, six, three, two, four, three, two, four, three. Okay, so. So instead of rolling back this time, you're rolling sort of forward. So the first time, and the second. Okay, like that. So if you put those four bars together, you've got this. Okay, and that last note you can no, you could play open if you want, or you could still play the second fret. It doesn't really matter too much because you're transitioning back to uh, the G. Okay, so you do the G. This time, you're just going to do two bars of just a normal G, and the pattern is the forward roll. So you're playing six, three, two, four, three, two, four, three, and you just do that twice. Do exactly the same thing but on this chord. Okay? So same chord as before, but just with a forward roll. Six, three, two, four, three, two, four, three. And again, do it twice on that. Okay? So let's go back to the beginning of this section and I'll play it through for you. So from there it goes It's very similar in the picking hand. So that's on a G chord and we just do our forward pattern on that. So we just need that third fret held down on the sixth string and you're playing string six, three, two, four, three, two, four, three. Okay? Then we make it the add nine, and we do exactly the same in the picking hand. And then we go to a C chord, and this time we're going five, three, two, four, three, two, five, three. Okay, so so far. to a D chord. So here I'm playing strings four, three, and then one and two together. Do that twice. And then four, three. And then to an E minor chord, and basically the same thing, but the bass has gone down to the sixth string to start with. So six, three, and then one and two together. And then four, three, one and two, four, three. Okay, then back to our C, same as before. Five, three, two, four, three, two, five, three. So from the D. got one more bar of G, exactly the same as before, six, three, two, four, three, two, four, three. And that then leads into, and I will never be set free, as long as I'm a ghost, but you can see. Okay, so, really nice to play. 
starts on a C chord, so hold that down and you're going to play 5, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 5. And that walks down to a, a G slash B, so all you need for your G slash B is the second fret held down on the fifth string. All the others open, um, but we're more or less doing the same but well, we are doing it exactly the same in the picking hand. So again, that's five, three, two, four, three, two, three, five. So you get. And then A minor seven, same thing in the picking hand. Five, three, two, four, three, two, three, five. So we hold down the D7 chord and we're going to play strings 4, 3, 2, and then 5, 3, 2. Okay, and then add in this F sharp. Of course, I know it's not really an F sharp note, but we're going to hold that down the second fret on the sixth string, play that, and then the third string. So that's. So back to the C. Okay, and that's basically that's basically it. Because then after there, it goes back into the. Back to that, which is just your G to your G N nine, just like the intro, um, and forward roll. Add nine, and then a backwards roll, and then it goes back, back to the beginning of the verse, and you basically you do all of that again. So once you've gone through all of that twice, there's like a little interlude part in an instrumental section, and the second guitar is doing the melody of the song. that and it goes through that twice and then it goes back into another verse and you do what we've already done all over again. Um, there's just that little interlude part um, that you've got to learn really but it's very 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 similar to the rest of the song. So I'll play it to you and you'll see straight away. So it goes like this. It's just that, and you do it twice, and that, and that's it. So it's very, very similar. You could just, um, you don't even have to do what I'm about to teach you. You could just pick your way through these chords as we have done already, and it would be absolutely fine. But if you want to be really meticulous, then why not be? So the G, uh, as normal, forward roll, six, three, two, four, three, two, four, and then we make it a G add nine. Play that, just like the intro and then a backwards roll. Okay? So nothing's changed there. And then we go down to this chord. Here's where it changes ever so slightly. Okay, so I just added this note here, the third fret on the second string. So start as normal, just like this, and we play string six, Three, two, four, three, two, four. And then we add that third fret there on the second string. Play that, bass, and then we do a backwards roll. So we play the bass and then strings two, three, four, two, three, four, and then open. Okay, so. Do that again. So here it is once more. So now you actually have all the parts of the song learned, which is fantastic. 
what you've got to do now is listen to the track and learn the structure because the structure of this track is a little bit fiddly it's not sort of your traditional intro verse chorus verse chorus um, you need to listen to it and then kind of learn to navigate your way through it but as i say if you listen to it two three four times you're going to get the structure down so i hope that all makes sense if you want to learn the second guitar to this or the, or the other guitar part then i'm going to be teaching that over on my website uh, so the link to that is down in the description should you want to learn it Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Remember, the whole lesson is available on my website, link in the description, and also on my site. I've got a whole bunch of finger-picking courses you can take if you want to invest in your finger-style playing a little bit more. But that's it for now. Thanks a lot.